We have an AFC North showdown as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Cleveland Browns. This is your week 11, 2023 prediction and preview video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Also hit the like button. Let's start off with the Cleveland Browns because they are the home team. Last week was an amazing week for this team. They were down to the Baltimore Ravens in the first minute of the game. In the first play, Deshaun Watson throws a pick six to Kyle Hamilton. But in the second half, Deshaun Watson was amazing and he is questionable for this game. He's dealing with an ankle injury, but he is on pace to play in this game. Had a phenomenal week last week in the second half. He was 14 of 14, 134 passing yards and one passing touchdown and led them to the game winning drive to kick the field goal. He was phenomenal and he has to do the same thing in this game. This is not the first time these two teams are facing each other. The last time these two teams faced each other, it was a Monday night football game. Nick Chubb went down in that game for the rest of the season. But the biggest thing that happened in that game, it was a pick six to Alice Highsmith and TJ Watt got a fumble off Deshaun Watson for six as well. Take care of the football in this game and run the football and attack the middle of the field of the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're dealing with a bunch of hurt linebackers right now, and they have to depend on guys like Landon Roberts to go out there and make plays. Neutralize the linebackers and run the football as much as possible with Jerome Ford, who had the best week last week in his career. 17 carries for 107 rushing yards at 6.3 yards to carry, and Kareem Hunt came away with a rushing touchdown as well. Get aggressive with the Steelers linebackers. you could be in a very good situation. But the starts with taking care of the football and with the offense line also protecting Deshaun Watson as well as he is nursing up that ankle. He got sacked four times last week. Not all the sacks were on the offensive line, but they had to protect Deshaun Watson and do a better job taking care of the football in this game. The Steelers secondary is very up and down as well. Some drives they look terrible and other drives they look decent at best. Target them as much as possible as well. With Mika Fitzpatrick still being out dealing with that hamstring injury, you can get a lot of big plays in the secondary, but you do not want Deshaun Watson to be behind center the entire time and give Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt and Cameron Hayward the chance to tee off on him, run the football and be in a very good situation. Target Amari Cooper and David Njoku and also Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore had five catches and 44 yards and one touchdown. Haskins has the skill set, just hasn't been able to take off just yet, but he has been solid this season for this team. Also get David Njoku going in the red zone as well. As far as the defense with the Cleveland Browns, it's pretty simple. Last week, they did a phenomenal job on Lamar Jackson, but when you go against the Steelers, this is a team that loves to run the football as of late. With Jalen Warren, who is now their starting running back, and Najee Harris. It's a running back, dual threat type of system with both guys getting the carries and they're sharing the load. Take the run game away and make Kenny Pickett beat you and dominate the line of scrimmage. With Jeremiah Osua Koromora and Miles Garrett, you could be in a perfect situation. Make Kenny Pickett beat you with his arm. Do not let Jalen Warren and Najee Harris dictate this game. And do not give this team short fields. That is how the Pittsburgh Steelers have been winning games this season. Make Kenny Pickett have long drives over and over again and play out a spaced out concept with the best secondary in football with the Cleveland Browns and make him have to make tough tight window throws and make him have to make tough decisions. And also single out George Pickens as well. You can be in a very good situation in this game. Now let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last week was a good week for for this team as well. Kenny Pickett didn't do much against the Green Bay Packers, but he did enough for them to go out there and get the win. They won the game 23 to 19. Kenny Pickett was 14 to 23, 126 passing yards. He has to be better in this game. And I understand that he dealt with some broken ribs when he went against the Tennessee Titans. Hopefully he'll be 100% and healthy for this game, but you obviously want to run the football with Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. Jalen Warren is now the quote unquote starting running back, but expect for him and Najee Harris to still get the same amount of carries. Jalen Warren had 15 carries for 101 yards last week and one rushing touchdown. And Najee Harris had 16 carries for 82 yards and one rushing touchdown. Get both of those running backs going and work it into the play action skill set to get the ball to guys like George Pickens and Connor Hayward. George Pickens had three catches for 45 yards last week, and he looked very good at times, but they have to get him the football more in this game. But at the same time, do not force it if it is not there. That is how you can get in a lot of trouble. You also have Deontay Johnson. has to do a better job of catching the football in this game. The last couple weeks, he's dropped some major passes. Go back and look at the Jacksonville Jaguars game. The first 
play from scrimmage. He dropped it, and he was open for a 20-yard game. You can't have that against this tough secondary. This is a Browns defense that loves to press, and they love to be aggressive because of the play call from Jim Swartz. So you have to match that intensity. Get physical up front and watch out for Miles Garrett. Do not let that defense dominate this game. You can play conservative, but be careful with that. Take some deep shots down the field, but not too many because this secondary can take the football away. They're ninth in takeaways in the NFL as a total defense. And let's talk about the defense of the Steelers. They have been very solid with T.J. Watt and with Alice Highsmith. Do the same thing you did a couple weeks ago when this when these two teams first faced each other. Get as much pressure on Deshaun Watson as possible and try to condense the field and try to get takeaways to give the football to your offense and Kenny Pickett on short field. So they won't have to do as much against that dominant defense of the Cleveland Browns. I am worried about their linebackers. Like I said earlier in this video, no Cole Holcomb, no Quan Alexander. So you're depending on a Landon Roberts and Mark Robinson as well. Mark Robinson has a lot of upside but hasn't played much in the NFL needs to get things going early in this game because this is a Browns team that will love to run the football the entire game and it comes down to those linebackers I have a lot of faith in Cameron Hayward Larry Obenjobi TJ White and Alex Highsmith to go and stop the run I'm just worried about those linebackers and how they will act in this game Mika Fitzpatrick is questionable for this game dealing with hamstring injury they are going to need him the secondary made some good plays last week and they also made some bad plays as well Patterson Patrick Peterson had a phenomenal play in the back of the end zone to tip the ball away, and Keanu Neal came away with the interception for Christian Watson. They need more plays like that in this game. Single out Amari Cooper and David Njoku and make the rest of the cast members of the Cleveland Browns beat you. And that's not an offensive comment, but make guys like Elijah Moore go out there and beat you and Cedric Tillman as well. They have good skill sets, just make them prove it in this game. And David Bell is also questionable for this game as well. With that being said, this is going to be a very close football game. This is going to be a very aggressive football game. If Deshaun Watson is 100% healthy or just half of that, they should be able to go out there and win this game. I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns to win this game 23-20 to in an ugly fashion. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game, the Cleveland Browns or the Pittsburgh Steelers? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.